the CM100K is the uh, answer to something I never thought I'd hear. Uh, with extended range and uh, super accurate uh, transient response, the ability to uh, hear the difference in a 384 kilohertz recording that these microphones offer, and it's a naturalness and an, uh, a transparency. And I'll keep using that term, but it means transparent to the moment, transparent to the performance. That's what it sounds like. Remember that guy I told you with the harpsichord, and right. he was a harpsichord player, and I had used a couple of CO100Ks on a 16th century harpsichord, and it was amazing in its, in its reveal. The ones that just blow my mind, and I, I just, they're indescribable, is the 100K microphones. Um, I, 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 don't, I actually don't know why they sound the way they sound, but they're ridiculous. They do something that no other Omni I know of does. It's just, you, you feel like you're closer to the instrument and, and it, it doesn't feel like this bad room vibe going on, you know, right, like right. a lot of Omnis you're going, right. man, this room just doesn't sound good. Right. They somehow make the room sound fantastic yeah. and, and just brings everything to life. What I love about those mics is the frequency response is extended certainly well beyond audibility, but on top of that, they have the smoothest top end and a really large, not peaked, but robust low end. And anyone that's gotten into using Omnis, and I think the longer you do this, the longer, the more you start reaching for an Omni or a figure eight rather than a cardioid, uh, you start to get more natural sounding instruments. And uh, the, the 100K is just phenomenal. So that was done on uh, 200 motels. I used the same setup for uh, Bocelli at Central Park. And uh, all my Broadway shows now, the main room mics have been uh, the C100Ks. Oh yeah, they're, yeah. they're great on piano. Yeah. That's like, um, you know, you rather than, like a lot of times in Nashville what we do is we get close to the hammers and get that real bright sort of right. piano thing. But um, there's also times where you're trying to do like a solo piano piece or so, and, and you're looking for a bigger, well-rounded, sort of more what you hear in the room kind of piano. And so a pair of those outside the lid just, it's like, and I suppose it's because of that high-end reach. It, again, they don't sound like they're outside the piano. It just right. sounds like you get this really full picture, like, you know, the stereo spectrum is completely full, and it's like the, you know, frequency from low to high is just smooth and complete. That's great. Yeah, they're great microphones. The 100Ks I've used a few different ways. I've had them on drum overheads. I've had them as, you know, room mics for orchestras. But then recently I've also been using them just as expansion of the room. That, you know, not so much for the sound, but for the air. Right. You know, and it right. really can take any source and make it more, more a more three-dimensional. Well, it's the go-to drum overhead. It's the go-to decatry. It's my go-to decatry for Omnis. For the most natural 5-1, array. You know, it's that polyhymnia setup with uh, three CO100Ks and two CO100Ks in the back. It's just a, it's a magical representation of a 5-1 space. Personally, I have five matched uh, 100Ks. Well, your first project with 100K was corn, wasn't it? Yes, I used, uh, I used the 100Ks, that's right, and uh, I put them in front of uh, some of the guitar amps. I think it was Monkey's guitar amp and Head's guitar amp. And uh, it, it blew us away because we had been using either ribbons or dynamics really close. Um, but um, I even tried it on his vocal and it sounded great on that. I'll use them a lot of times like just a space pair. Like if I've got an acoustic overdub that I'm doing, acoustic guitar, I'll have the musician sitting there and just, you know, maybe four feet apart, three or four feet away from the instrument. Mm -hmm. And you pull up those couple of microphones and the guitar sounded great with the close mic. You bring those up and all of a sudden it's just like rocking. I mean, it's, it sounds great, you know.